Hello there, I'm History of the Flash, but you can call me JD. Ahoy and combo country, also known as Hunter. Oh, woohoo, I'm a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also known as Harper. And this is a hero story, episode 153. Uh, to start the episode, well, later in the episode, we're going to be reviewing uh, the Suicide Squad, the James Gunn movie. But to start the episode, we have a very big announcement. Uh, many of you have been anticipating this. As guessing I know correctly. I have. And guessing, guessing very correctly. <laughs> Yeah, these uh, worst kept secret. <laughs> these doofuses are not very good at keeping a secret. But nope. uh, we have landed the biggest guest in a hero story history, and I could easily say that because we have landed the legendary Mark Wade for an interview. Uh, it yeah. feels good to say because I've been sitting on that one for quite a while, over um, a month, two months now, I think. <laughs> Yeah, when, when, uh, I, when, I, when I first found out, it was at like 5 a.m. Um, when I got an email from Mark Wade. In and June. The, the, the only one who was up was Harper because, you know, different time zones. I was, <laughs> I was like at 5 a.m. I'm like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I was like, Harper, brace yourself. He's like, okay, I'm braced. And he was uh, not okay. braced because that I was, was not braced. crazy. <laughs> I sent you a selfie immediately. Like, hand over my mouth just like, <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe it. Yes, yeah, so, I ran out to my mom and I was just like, "Mom, we're gonna have Mark Wade on the podcast. We're gonna actually have Mark Wade on the podcast." Mark Wade, writer. She was, just like, writer. She was probably like, "Oh yeah, okay, yeah, cool, <laughs> yeah. whatever." But Mark <laughs> Wade has written things like Kingdom Come. He's written, written fantastic series that many people consider the best of Daredevil, Fantastic Four, The Flash. So he he's quite a major writer, and yeah, he'll be on next week. What for... do you mean, quite a major writer? You are. I, I mean, he it's Mark he is fucking Wade. Five he's like the pioneer ever. of modern comics. Ever. You pick a fucking characters just, that he's touched and they are exponentially better because he fucking wrote them this isn't just mark wade writer this is mark fucking wade all right we it can is. save this for next week when he's actually on so we can like oh my god it's, it's gonna be embarrassing how much i simp for this fucking man i'm gonna <laughs> I, be I like think, i think i said that to mark you, off the I, was, I was like would it be wrong if i told him i love him <laughs> dude, dude, dude. okay the best part is we're recording that the day before my birthday and so i'm gonna beg mark wade to give me a happy birthday oh man <laughs> you, like, you, have mark, like a, you, you have a cameo so you could just save that video for the rest of the time <laughs> yeah. so every birthday you could play that shit for yourself <laughs> if you have anything that you want to ask want us to ask mark wade there should be a oh, post yeah. on the hero story instagram no, comment now. that shit on youtube that way we. oh get, yeah youtube uh, yeah comment bro. on youtube yeah comment on this YouTube video cage with <laughs> yeah but also there'll be probably be a post on uh, a hero story instagram so yeah but just... we won't count those because fuck you maybe <laughs> on the youtube maybe. ones oh yeah do the youtube one anyways uh yeah that's our big announcement so now on to a rather different episode of a hero story you guys wanna... sad squared so yeah we're just gonna pause for a second you guys want to turn off your cameras and then i'll do a little oh sure there. thing yeah sure thing oh, oh wait like can we vamp what do you mean let's by talk that? about i don't know what that means the Suicide Squad 2021 stars Joel Kinnaman. Uh, the, that's the first name you give out, Joel Kinnaman? <laughs> I like Joel Kinnaman. Kinnaman. You would. Let's get the sliding What's here. wrong with Joel Kinnaman? You're the one who's fucking Rick Flagg's yellow shirt or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is going to be very, very different. Uh, we are going to be, well, I am going to be introducing our Sewer Side Squad where... We're doing like the Suicide Squad on the show. So I am now Amanda Waller. Can I be Hunter Waller? Is that okay? Or do I have to be Amanda? No, nah, no, nah, you're Amanda. Okay. Well, I'll be Amanda Waller. So I have the power. I actually place bombs in everyone's head. And if they go out of line, they will either get kicked or get their head blown off or maybe a bit of both. We'll see. So I have kind of notes here to introduce everyone. For the suicide squad of a hero story i'm calling it suicide, <laughs> suicide because yeah oh uh, you know i don't know say the actual Su yeah we're not the suicide squad we're the suicide squad i don't know uh i didn't get a message for this one but starting off we have the rick flag of the group a well-trusted soldier of mine that i placed a bomb in his head while he was sleeping because i thought it'd be kind of funny jd you want to introduce yourself even though you just did rick flag bitch <laughs> JD in a yellow shirt. Did you uh, buy while, that? While you're doing the intro, I'm like, like desperately find, trying to find a yellow shirt in my drawer. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. I can't believe you actually had one. All right, yeah. The Rick that's flag that's yes, very I, impressive. Yes, I wear full shirts because of America. Bitch. Well, if you if you end up going out of line, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to blow off your head. Uh, the next person I'll introduce here, 
uh, his crime for being in prison that he told me is he killed and has eaten over 700 <laughs> baby animals. <laughs> Captain Boomerang. Hello. <laughs> It's fucking yellow. <laughs> I go, get a dickheads. I got a fucking boomerang. <laughs> I sure hope I make it through this Did movie. You color your tooth yellow. I got, I got a permanent mark. <laughs> oh oh no! God. Oh that no! Can't be good. That can't be good for your health. I said before the podcast, dickhead. I said it's probably not good for me. Fucking health. Nine, nine, out, nine out of ten dentists would not recommend that. Or a fucking jacket and a beady dickhead. <laughs> you look exactly like him. <laughs> all right. Uh, Joe Courtney, my hero. Our next, this isn't all of us. There's actually a few more prisoners of the Suicide Squad. The next person, <laughs> uh, their crime list is they were threatening violence against several landlords, rat-aided <coughs> robbery, riding a cow drunk in the Scottish Highlands, accidentally engaging in a satanic ritual, and multiple occasions of tax evasion. Says rat catcher too. That's the biggest. Fuck, one. That would have been perfect for an Australian. <laughs> also known as Beth, who was on the show just, like two months high. ago. <laughs> who dressed up and brought a toy rat. Oh shit! And our our last member of the Suicide Squad, the one who kind of gave us this idea originally, sent me a paragraph idea. of a reason of why he's in prison. Uh, of course I'm just he gonna, fucking did. I'm just going to go to uh, the main crime of it. Uh, he's a grad student who can't cook for the life of him. He got thrown in prison after he burned down a whole city block trying to heat up a hot pocket with a flamethrower. For this episode, he's become the peacemaker. Sean. Oh, shit! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Yes! yes. That's amazing. You did oh it! I tried so hard to out. keep like a serious face with this on. <laughs> Holy shit! Yo. Oh, that I looks actually so long good. This will last. That's fucking That's amazing. amazing. That is well done. You got I the can Bravo. shirt and everything. Yeah. That is yeah. That wins. That wins absolutely. Wow. Although I must say, I can smell like permanent marker stuff in the back of my throat and up through my nose, and I don't think that's good. Oh, it already broke. It already broke. <laughs> for audio <laughs> listeners, Sean is in a full peacemaker. For, for audio cosplay. listeners, for audio listeners, like, I beg Lord you, budget, like, like uh, this is the only time you have days. to go on YouTube ever. This is amazing. Yeah. Uh, JD's wearing Rick yeah. Flag's yellow shirt. Harper colored his teeth. Well, two. I got yellow. a jacket. I got a fucking beady dickhead. Don't know. And, and he has an actual boomerang. I got a fucking or, boomerang that I found. I've got a fake rat and, a, or maybe a real rat and a coat on. And Sean his is in a full. Man. I love him dearly. And Sean is in a full peacemaker suit. <laughs> oh God! I can I'm we so specify that like? Can we specify that anyone can die this episode? That's the point. Right. So, yeah, the point of this is if anyone goes out of line, I will kick them from the call. If they're, if they're kicked from the, the episode, Please they're gone for die. the rest of the episode. That's it. Yep. So, we'll, we'll the, see. The way, the way I'm viewing it. this is the second I get kicked, I can just go to bed. So, yeah, that's exactly it. No, JD, once you're kicked, you are out. Blow it up. JD, it's 7 50 p.m. <laughs> Blow it up! <laughs> This is this is either Captain Boomerang or a really shitty Jughead cosplay. <laughs> I'm Either weird. Or. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in. I don't want to fucking fit in, kind of. So yeah, this is <laughs> you, Captain Boomerang. <laughs> we were both Australian. I mean, so. this technically true in the comics are. So... Did it work? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you could. You're you could Owen. Have son. <laughs> oh, are Owen, you my Owen dad? over there. I went first with some speed powers. Oh my god. Look at Sean trying to fix his peacemaker. <laughs> peacemaker now Sean's not gonna have enough tinfoil to cook for the rest of the week, but at least he got that done. <laughs> I bought three <laughs> rolls for this. <laughs> Holy shit. It actually Holy looks pretty good. Shit, I just started so I came up with this idea Wednesday because I was like, let I was just sitting, I'm like you know, what would be fun for the Suicide Squad podcast? Because, like, everybody messages me, like, I'm the Suicide Squad expert of this show or something. <laughs> and I'm like, I got to do something. And I went, well, John Cena keeps showing up to everything in the piece. Of the suit. <laughs> he what, is. If, what if? So as soon as I thought of it, I went to the mall 
and I went through every single store, FYE, GameStop, anything. And then finally I go, Hot Topic won't let me down. And they didn't. I got the that, shirt. That, that's the first time that sentence has ever been said in human history. Hot Topic won't <laughs> yeah. let me down. Hot Topic won't let me you down. got the Peacemaker <laughs> shirt. <laughs> and I got it. And then I had these gloves because I meant to clean my floors and I never did. <laughs> oh, fuck. I thought they were just screen accurate gloves. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you just went to James. Gunn. That's why I smell like Home Depot, yeah. tin foil and cleaning gloves. Oh man, we have to send like a screenshot of something uh, just to James Gunn. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Come on, come on a hero story. Fuck, imagine imagine if Squid. Suicide Squad was next week. Mark Wade comes on for the Suicide Squad. And I'm just like, get out, <laughs> guys. I'm fucking Captain Boomerang. And he's just like, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey Mark, hey Mark, what do you think of Suicide Squad? Uh when I've written them? No, 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 the movie. No, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on on Word Balloon, Mark actually talks a lot about like movies that he like. He loves Superman and Lois, and he loves the MCU and stuff. That's so. awesome. That's yeah, awesome. we could we could just talk keeps about getting it. better, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he never lets you down. So now, the Suicide Squad is a movie that came out um, in twenty sixteen, I think. So, <laughs> would you like to review? <laughs> what you guys uh, think? Uh, I thought Enchantress was a weird movie. Uh, like why would you yeah, do that? Joker. Like that. <clears throat> hard to judge because there's barely any screen time of him but yeah the laugh was release like, the ir cut god damn hey, it spe- speaking of speaking of characters that have very little screen time and are kind of just not that good peacemaker <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, we're, just, oh, we're getting we're getting started right away uh jd right. you um, just watched this movie right i just watched this movie like you finished it like 20 minutes ago I finished it not a little more than 20. I probably finished it like an hour ago at this point. What are your thoughts? What do you think I thought? You probably hated it. <laughs> Harper, what do you think I thought? I, I think you were like, that was stupid as fuck. Bingo. I, I didn't <laughs> like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, you know what? I- I, I'm kind of with JD. Like, I didn't hate it. I'm like firmly in the middle. I think it's perfectly fine, but it is fucking dumb beyond belief. I and not even like because you're... of, you know, stuff we get later in the movie, but just more the humor and more like the self referential. Oh, look how silly this is. I'm like, you've made it, you've made it worse by going, look how silly this is. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you only get, like, when it comes to those particular elements of it, it's like, if you don't actively read comics, you're probably going to find them funnier. But like, I think if you're a comic yeah, book fan, we're kind of abused to the absurd. I've accepted yeah. the fact that there's a giant fucking starfish alien that does like <laughs> face hugger shit. I've accepted it's, that. It's not I was going to say spoilers, anymore. but it's like they literally had a giant star at like the. Premiere, I don't think like Star was a. Yeah, I don't think Star was a spoiler. We could talk. Yeah, about he was actually, the, end of the fucking trailer. I actually liked like the idea of Starro. I wanted Starro for the first Justice League so did movie, I. like way yeah. back when. Yeah, so Starro, the conqueror. But when exactly. Starro shows up, they're like, it's a freaking massive starfish. What? It's like, yeah, we know. We why, know. The fuck was it, why was his eye liquid? That made me so uncomfortable. Is your yeah, eye it, was, it, it was pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> if you told me if you told me that I was going to be watching a movie where Harley Quinn is in some eye liquid floating around while some rats go by her, I'd be like, "What movie?" I am was I watching? certain. I was so Which certain movie? that the end of that movie, because they set up that polka dot man, like he becomes horribly disfigured if he doesn't do it like long enough, like you know, doesn't eject yeah. his polka dots. Like there's that scene where they're in the forest and he looks like fucking brundle fly from the fly and he like stumbles <laughs> off spews them all up and comes back normal i thought at the end of the movie it was gonna be like he's barely used them and he just looks fucking horrendous i thought that and too. then he just explodes and Same. like dies sacrifices himself and then takes out Starro. but instead Starro gets taken down by the power of rats <laughs> i do find that fucking incredible though i did like, love the like, ending i will it's say it's absurd it's it was very it was but i was just like oh man he had his mind okay the plague so wait harper what were your overall thoughts then it's fine beth i enjoyed it i don't i think it got a bit overhyped i think a lot of people were like acting this is a god's gift to superhero films and it's like yeah it's yeah, a good a lot movie of, a lot, a lot james of gunn's saying good that. Mm-hmm. james gunn's a good director i like how he can handle <laughs> obscure characters but I don't think this is like the greatest comic book movie of all time. 
And I think you, like, whenever like a Chromebook movie is like good or decent, people tend to act like it's the greatest thing known to mankind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, think, so. I, I think that this movie's kind of left me feeling how Guardians 2 left me feeling, where I'm kind of just like, okay, that happened. I, I, I never connected with Guardians 2. Second time. You gotta I watch think it's definitely. Second time Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is. Actually, I, agree. I, I This first I time did, is. I, don't know, like, I did not like Guardians of the Galaxy 2 the first time I saw it. I went, same. that's bottom yeah, tier like MCU. It. And then the second time I saw it, I went, that's fucking amazing. Why yeah. didn't I like it? I'm the exact it's same really way, Harper. Bizarre. Yeah. Everyone yeah. I know who likes that movie has had that same experience. It's bizarre. Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, quite bizarre. Uh, Sean, think... you went out, you bought a whole cosplay before <laughs> even seeing the movie. So what, what are your thoughts? Um, Why would you do that? Because <laughs> I'm dedicated to a hero story. And apparently <laughs> apparently, I had a birthday uh, discount at Hot Topic. So made use of it. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not it's birth? not until the 22nd but thanks <laughs> but um uh i had i genuinely had a good time but i do feel like this movie's a bit of a mixed bag in that there are things that i wish i got more of things i could have done without and uh like, there were other directions i felt like certain characters and things could have gone that i felt would have been better and made the movie stronger at least for me um, so okay. that's my general. Would you have done without the part where Harley Quinn falls in love with some random fucking like that leader fucking of the country, stupid. fucks the him, then realizes he's that a piece monster of shit, between your legs? Ah! Yeah. yeah, that moment was <laughs> like JD meme of the week. <laughs> I, yeah, I understand that... why people uh, critique that moment because it's like Harley's arc is if in relation to her leaving the Joker is kind of her gaining her independence or. So, Having her fall back yeah. into fucking some random leader guy makes no sense. If and it, I, like, I get where they were going because they wanted they wanted to you know have the moment where she goes you know I promised myself that if I ever saw some red flags that I would shoot him dead and blah blah blah. But I don't believe that Harley would let herself get into this situation with that guy initially yeah. after learning that lesson. Uh, you I know guess what I mean? should say um, this might be a spoiler review. <laughs> No, it's all course, spoilers. What are you every single about? time we do a review, it's spoiler. Yeah. I feel like, like that's a given. <laughs> my my fucking boomerang. Characters. Yeah, your boomerang didn't do much in that film. <laughs> oh, it fuck did than the 2016 I movie. think of every death that happened, I think Captain Boomerang's impacted me a bit more than the <laughs> I, others. The I, like, audibly the I enjoy him so mm. much. As a character, and he yeah. was good. And I thought he would last he longer. Around. So fun. Like, and just in the helicopter, he's like, "Hi, go on, house. We'll call you back to prison." So, like, he was very Please charismatic. Never again. Yeah, yeah don't, don't do I, that. I won't. Won't. I won't. You know what I expected? I expected this movie to fucking like play around with the characters a bit more, so you're not sure mm. like who's gonna go at any moment. But the yeah. start of the movie is just we kill off the excess. And then here's the other team, and they treat it like what a surprise. But we knew that going into the movie, so I wasn't yeah. shocked. I and then the rest of the movie plays out super generic, and then the characters that do die towards the end, you kind of like, oh yeah, that makes sense that they were going to die wish, there. I, I, the whole point of the Suicide Squad as a team is that you're not really supposed to know who's going to die, which yeah. is why it was always comprised of C and D characters. Um, but I just it feels like we kind of knew like well, well knew we knew Pete, Pete Davidson, Davidson was going. Was yeah, <laughs> we knew he <laughs> was going. He and was also, fucking going was ASAP. Technically, the first death. He was. Yeah, he was. <laughs> and I which is what that. I bet on. Oh come on. <laughs> and I think it's just kind of irritating the fact that I did kind of know who was going to die. Yeah. I thought that kind of ruins what makes in my opinion, Suicide Squad is so interesting as a team, is that you don't know who's going to die. You don't know what's going to happen. Like, well, did... obviously, like, obviously you're going to have, like, some characters who are going to survive either because they're, like, well-known characters or they're just somehow useful to Amanda Waller. But, like, it just feels like, I don't, I want to go into a Suicide Squad movie with, like, no knowledge of who's going to die. I yeah. want to be surprised by who's going to get, like, killed off. See, and I had no knowledge going into it. It's just that it was, like, everyone who died you just none of them were like yeah. whoa it was just like oh yeah yeah okay yeah uh that being said I'll, I'll kind of come on and say that i did find that going in for like not not just the first team that all died later on i got really attached to the characters and i didn't want them to die oh yeah i agree yeah, i think the main like the, the, the squad the second that we act, have the second act is significantly better than the first yeah of I course agree. yeah that second half of the movie kind of makes it a better movie in my opinion 
Yeah, definitely. What like, did you think? We didn't actually say. It. I know what you think, but like, you know, say it for the. I for liked the it a lot. I thought it was really fun, and I want to see it again. <laughs> like, I I loved it. I genuinely had a lot of fun with it. You know, the yeah, the, you, the saddest death you would for say me that you that... fucking dull bludgeon dingo fucking wanker. The, the saddest death for me was probably that that bird that was in uh, Michael Rooker's cell. Um, really felt attached to that bird. Yeah, I did like how the bird did come came back around. Like a, a different bird came and just ate him. Yeah, I, I was like, would would the bird do that? One thing Revenge. I do I do like over the original film is that Gunn wasn't afraid to make the characters like actual criminals. Like that was my biggest complaint with like Ayers. Oh is that yeah, they yeah. tried to play him off as like heroes. I'm like. <laughs> The point of the Suicide Squad is that all these characters are giant dickheads. I and gotta say, I do there love is going that they murdered like... a whole village of innocent people. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the funniest jokes in the movie. Exactly. We're here it's to like... rescue you. Uh, uh, <laughs> they saved me. <laughs> and they and just like, like, I, I why didn't my really men like... alert you? I, I didn't yeah. see anyone. Uh, I, I also <laughs> drew, I think a standout character for me was rat catcher because i felt like she like every suicide squad team kind of has that one member who's a bit more morally uh like good compared to the rest of the team and that was kind of her role in the grand scheme of things she was kind of like the heart in the sense she was yeah she was the good guy yeah Listen, like usually like that would be like Tiger, another character like that but i just really enjoyed how she just felt like she fit in with everybody and like it was just really interesting to see her character play out because she is an original character she doesn't come from the comics so, yeah, someone said yeah, to that in TDK. <laughs> <laughs> he also, I don't think we, he never actually died. He was just in critical condition. So, where's that detachable kid spin off coming? Exactly. <laughs> Pretty Where he's just got no one. Why is he fucking like Peacemaker getting a spin off series? He was yeah. so Honestly, nothing. Peacemaker was one of the weakest characters in the entire film. And I think we need to just, as a collective, accept that. Yeah, let's kill Sean. Sean's mad. I disagree, disagree, actually. (laughs) You disagree? disagree? Really? He was... I I hate John Cena, so my my opinion's very biased. I thought he was better in this than Fast and Furious. Well, yeah. (laughs) I mean, that's my problem. He deserved the Toretto name. He's not a high bar, Sean. Yeah, see, my problem isn't John Cena's performance. It's it was literally the character that I was just like, oh, they really. I mean, doing he, in kind the of end, he was kind of like an antagonist to the team. He was. I mean, he wasn't kind of. He I mean, was. Kind of I thought his fights were very entertaining. <laughs> film I, film analysis by Calvo Hunter. He was he was kind of an antagonist. <laughs> yeah, he straight up was. I thought he all of his one like, action to kill was another, and they very got killed by the main hero. He is an antagonist. Like Peacemaker versus Rick Flag, that was one of the best fights in the whole movie. It was, but that it was the was, most film. With the meant helmet. A bit more yeah. if I gave a shit about Peacemaker. Oh, yeah, the helmet part was very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of cool cinematography in this. But a follow up message of him went, I can't believe they put a Mortal Kombat fatality in in, in the movie. (laughs) Because you see his heart get fucking pierced. And they were like, that was literally a Mortal Kombat (laughs) fatality. It was, yeah, you're right. Uh, I mean, visually, this film looks great. That's because I kind of expect that from James Gunn movies. They're going to look good. Good cinematography, good lighting, good costume design. I expect that. Good sound design as well. It's like oh, costume design. Speaking of which, usually uh, in superhero movies and even just James Gunn superhero movies, so the Guardians movies, you don't see the actors put on the helmets very much. So Bloodsport wearing the helmet for a lot of moments in this movie shocked me. I thought he'd wear for one yeah. scene, that'd be it. So the fact yeah. that it was on for so long, I, I like that. And then it broke, and I was like, yeah, of course it has to break. Does was I the, one, was like... I the only one who felt no attachment with uh, Bloodsport and his daughter? Like, when they were oh, like, fuck you, yeah, fuck you, fuck you. I was oh, like, yeah, yeah. fuck me, shit. I thought you were like, <laughs> I just didn't like Bloodsport. I was like, how? I like Why did you say it like that, JD? Why did you go, shit, fuck me, dog? <laughs> why did you say it like that? And why are you frozen? Like <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, is he oh, back. Back. Yeah. I thought that was going to be the first casualty of the suicide <laughs> square. Yeah, I thought, my brain just, I thought my brain blew up for a minute. <laughs> JD, JD, you're off mission. You're off mission. Yeah, you're off mission, JD. <laughs> oh, I'm swimming away. Ooh. I'm swimming away. <laughs> Amanda Waller, she was great in this movie. Way yeah, I, I, I think she is. Like, she is, but I, I, the character is designed for you to fucking hate her. Mm-hmm. And she's designed like that across all media. But that yeah. doesn't, like, it doesn't. It's. I still cannot fathom how much I fucking hate her. I was hoping when they hit her with the golf. When they hit her with the golf club, I was like, "Please just beat her to death." And I'm like, "I don't want to feel this way about poor Viola Davis. Is doing a really good job." I think that's a testament. 
I think that's a testament to Viola Davis's skill with the character is that she can make yeah, him understand. fucking yeah. despise her. Mm-hmm. And I, I, Viola Davis is one of the best parts of the original movie because she was the one, one of the few characters that was well casted and one of the few characters that just actually felt more like we were used to seeing them as. May it's, I add that I don't want to see Viola bitch. Davis get hurt in any possible way. I just <laughs> want to see Amanda Waller get yeah. her head fucking caved in because I fucking hate yeah. that character. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just want to clarify, this isn't like it's Tobey okay. Maguire and Spider-Man where like, but Viola like a toss Davis, a coin. Viola Davis has been good since yeah, day one though. Like since that, yeah. uh, Bruce, since that Bruce Wayne after scene, ooh, I still get chills from that. Oh yeah. yeah. Stop, just, just, stop working nights. I was like, <laughs> oh, wow. People talk about like Bring a good back. coin book movie casting. They never really bring up Viola Davis and Amanda Waller when they should. Because yeah. it's fucking fantastic casting. I can't imagine anyone else playing Top that character 10. as well Top as 10. she can. Hey guys, how do you feel about Reebok jumpers, hey? Just <laughs> Are we sponsored by Reebok? I'm wearing Reebok no. underwear right now. Well, fuck, it <laughs> fucking <laughs> looks <laughs> like it, doesn't it? I'm, I'm wearing my John Cena tidy whities. I just fully. Ah, I love. I thought that scene was fucking so dumb. Oh, that was yeah. That scene was fucking hilarious. That's racist. <laughs> That's racist. Hey, uh, hey, <laughs> Sly, uh, Sylvester Stallone. What was it like making Suicide Squad? Oh. Bird. <laughs> King Kingshark was very much the heart of this movie. Uh, what was with Fred. the fish scene though? Just... Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that needed? New dumb no. brands. <laughs> That, that's my thing with this movie. There's think many they... things that weren't needed. I didn't need to see Polka Dot's me- uh, mom several times. Oh my god, movie. that was the joke that like when he was first, grinding like, on her. Like, oh, we get it. We ah, have mommy yeah. issues. Just what you saying? The first time when he like looks at the team and they're all her, I was just like, okay, that's bizarre enough, but it's like shocking enough that it could work. But when the the finale of the movie is Polka Dot Man that's shooting Starro, and it's his, it's a giant mother, and she's like, Rah! I was like, what the fuck? Are it kind of lowered that. The, that moment for me. I, like, <laughs> absolutely lowered that moment. <laughs> yeah, I, I like I get that. You know, Polka Dot Man evidently has a very horrific relationship with his mother, but I don't need to drill into visually yeah. multiple times. I think you James Gunn was like, ways, "Jokes work in three, shit. so let's do it three times." But that doesn't. It doesn't was work. like the music with Wonder Woman in the Snyder Cut. Like you just kept dreading <laughs> oh, it. Yeah. When it happened again. <laughs> it's just like, okay, that's cool the first time, and maybe the second. Not really the eleventh. Not at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe like... Okay, but wait, hold on. What did we like about the movie? <laughs> wait, 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 Sean, Sean, I got one thing to say though. Nobody cares, Sean. Head. I don't even think they told Sylvester Stallone to dumb down his voice. They're like, all right, Sly, here's your line. He just read it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thing I like, thing I like. I mean, they didn't do enough with it, but like Rick Flag is a much better character. They oh, yeah. A very yeah, interesting definitely. arc. Until they didn't really do anything with it towards the end. <laughs> after he died it was just kind of like okay and then at the end rat catches like rick wanted us to expose this and idris elba's like blood sport coming to Fortnite. get ready to get some dubs he's coming to the island <laughs> and he's gonna go full uh, set <laughs> i liked harley's costume like the main one she wore. oh it was great yeah. yeah i like the sort of return to the black and red the new 52. Like, I, like I got a... a lot of new 52 vibes from this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, Her... it was like my a big issue with like the original movie costumes. I understand it's a Debbie Harry reference, but at the same time, it was pretty much only there to sexualize her and put her in like. Yeah, but Betty, you don't understand. She was hot as fuck. So, like, let me watch my fucking Suicide Squad. Dude, Dude, it's like my see. favorite movie of all time. I know Margot Robbie. <laughs> Let me, let me look at Margaret Robbie's ass, please. <laughs> Just please. I think me. Harley, this was the best movie for Harley Quinn out of the yeah. her yes, three actually, appearances. Definitely. The fight scene, like the, the flowers. It was, yeah. it was the prison scene from Birds of Prey, but way better. <laughs> well, yeah. see, here's feel, the thing. I feel a lot of pain that Harley Quinn has more appearances in the cinematic universe than Batman <laughs> does. It hurts. Than <laughs> Batman or The Flash? No, no, no. Well, he's, both. He's, he's right. He's right because Batman is only a main they... character in two movies. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. He, he's a he cameos in Suicide he, Squad. Yeah, but... he cameos, but he's yeah. not a She's main tied character. for Superman yeah. unless you count Shazam's cameo. 
Yeah, Su- Superman's been in three films, and Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Well, so is Wonder Woman. Wonder, 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 Wonder Woman's got three. Oh, and Wonder Woman. Think... She's got four. Wonder 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 oh, she does have four. Yeah. Wait. Another thing I like. Another thing I like is the fact that Gunn went out of his way to pick obscure characters, and to yeah. actually have them yeah. get killed off. So because that was, like boring. with Air, it's like Hello? we know damn well most of these characters are going to get killed off. I thought it's it would like, be further into the movie, though. Yeah, yeah, I thought we would lose. Like, I thought it was going to be lose a bunch at the beginning and then lose like one. Gradually more, yeah. yeah I definitely. thought Captain Boomerang was going to have more of a certain significant death. All right, Harper yeah, did something and I have no idea what. <laughs> I just missed him, man. You I, so I think the only one to notice Harper's joke. I thought it was good. I <laughs> was the only one who saw. I put the boomerang up to my face. I went, hello? Hello, and then I went. It's Paul Hogan, and I just lost it. I think he said it's Paul, Paul Hogan again. Is... No, it's Paul Crocodile Dundee, mate. So I, uh, I do wish Captain Boomerang lived longer, but moments he was alive, he was one of the best parts of that first team. Yeah, I just, but it the was so expected that that was going to happen. Out about Weasel was fucking hilarious. Oh, Weasel was very. Yeah, <laughs> didn't need is that this. A that one, one crap fucking dog is it? <laughs> yeah, he didn't need that. Dog. <laughs> TDK, that's just letters. Yeah, all names are fucking letters, dickhead. <laughs> a lot of the humor didn't work in this, but a lot of humor did at the same time. Like a lot yeah. of jokes landed very well. I would say there's some parts that are really funny, but mostly overall, like it was really obvious joke. Like there were two parts that I love. One was they're threatening the guy on the roof and oh, they're threatening the thinker. And the thinker goes, that's suicide. And then Rick Flag goes, yeah, <laughs> that's, well, kind, that's, of kind, thing. that's yeah. kind of our thing. And then Polka Dot Man just walks up like awkwardly behind and looks at him and goes, yeah. And then the scene cuts away. I just thought the way he said that was so funny. And then in the fucking meeting room, just that lady who takes over control from Amanda Waller is like, get on the satellites, Dale, you fucking dickhead. And then Dale in the background just goes, geez, okay. <laughs> Those two parts I thought was so fucking funny. There's a fucking good. What one part that I liked was with Blood uh Bloodsport and Peacemaker when they're doing their whole like Lord of the Rings getting more kills than one another in the yeah. when they're taking out the camp and everything. And literally he's like, nobody likes a, a show off and peacemaker, unless what they're showing is dope as whatever. It's dope but, like, as fuck. But yeah. the thing with it was I loved how Bloodsport, I don't know why Agreed. I got a kick out. Yeah, he's he like, acts damn. like a teenager right. where he's like damn he's right <laughs> he's right yeah that was good and like i'll give john cena credit his delivery on that is very good he's like unless what they're showing is dope as fuck <laughs> I, 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 like he's right <laughs> I, I would say that something that i appreciated about this movie was like and this kind of piggybacks off what beth said about them like like feeling like villains um like you know like dickhead villains Th- this feels very comic booky like like it yeah. looks comic booky and like yeah, the characters yeah. actually felt like in Ayer's movie they kind of just feel like just movie characters yeah, yeah netflix actually, original movie characters. suicide squad yeah but, <laughs> yeah, but here universe. they actually felt like comic book characters. it's also like, broken as, up into arcs kind of like as, as that saying goes Justice League was. if it walks like a comic book it talks like a comic book and shits like a comic book it's a comic book that's saying. <laughs> it's it's I mean, yeah, I did feel like an actual comic book movie from like the suit, like Peacemaker. If this was like made in 2016. I feel like Peacemaker would just be wearing military uniform, and he might yeah. get a similar looking helmet later on. But here he's wearing. Do you like know a who had a great costume? You know who had a great costume? Bloodsport coming to the <laughs> island. Get ready to get some dubs. <laughs> Most of them had good costumes, but the way they with talk, Superman the delivery... To the, to the ICU with a bullet. Which Could, Superman? I think... uh, we'll get back to that later. Going back I, and that, forward yeah. between, like, 18 minutes ago, this was, like, three days ago, stuff like that. That felt like a comic book, in a way. Yeah. Showing yeah. different perspectives. I think James Gunn, as a director, understands how to make a comic book movie feel like a comic book. Mm-hmm. Which is something that a lot of movies have felt ashamed of being for, like, so long, which is like you can see with a lot of all the comic book movies, they were ashamed of being comic book movies, and you can just tell by the costume design, the way the characters are written, etc. But I feel like James Gunn just yeah, yeah I was, was going to say that. Yes, man. <laughs> they despised being comic book movies, but I think with Gunn, it's like he has this appreciation of what he's adapting, and he wants to sort of give people like his version of that, but still make it feel like he, they're reading a comic book. You know, <laughs> and I really appreciate that about Gunn's directing style. Yeah, for sure. 
Uh, anything else you guys want to add? A gun, though. I love the ending. Makes no like, sense. Like, what I also loved is that Starro wasn't just like you know the typical villain or whatever. Oh my god! I love that so final. Depressing. I love that final <laughs> line with "I was happy." floating looking at the stars the where stars, it's like yeah. oh okay uh, i know <laughs> like you're like give him character wasn't really his fault holy shit though they did Earth. the thing they did the fucking thing you kill the big thing and then all the little ones died too they did that thing again yeah we're well, doing this yeah. again yeah. it's always that. I, know, I think the character that ended up not being used in the way i expected to was the thinker because you, like the way the approach yeah, like the promotion material kind of made it seem like he'd be more of like a of member team. of the squad, but then he was yeah. like his own kind of thing. But I do like Peter Capaldi a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that line. Starro, the conqueror. Yeah. <laughs> I, li- I like the scene where he's telling Rick Flagg that it was all the Americans, because I never would have thought I would see Peter Capaldi as the thinker just saying fuck like every other five words. Because he was like, it was your fucking government who did it. And I was just like, oh shit, okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like, like desensitized. This movie's oh, real. Yeah. swearing. But like just him as a thinker swearing is fucking hilarious to me. Did you guys like the way they called back to the bullet thing? Because they have the showdown with yes. the bullet. Yeah, yes. I like that. I like that scene. That scene would have been so much better if we didn't get that fucking after credit scene though. Are you oh, fucking yeah. kidding shit. me? Isn't it oh, wild? No peacemaker, that- sure. I'm been, uh, we don't need it. What do we isn't gain it, from it? Isn't it wild that we've had two thinker adaptations and no fucking Wally West? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Life is like there. Two thinkers? <laughs> yeah, we got cool, a better, we had a expect? better Captain Boomerang adaptation and a better Wally West adaptation. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your Australian okay. accent just sounds like Richard. JFK. No, JFK, sorry. <laughs> Definitely not Richard Nixon. <laughs> what do you guys rate the movie? I guess we'll go one on one. Well, I guess it's like a five or a six. It's perfectly yeah, fine. Probably six. a six. Okay, JD. Yeah, I'd say. Well, JD's I'd slowly say. going. Four. Four out of ten. Wow. Seven. Sure. I'll give it a seven. I had a good That's time. A There's just That's things I would have liked short. different. Six, seven, six. four, six, and eight. Okay. Yeah, eight. That's I'm, I'm eight point five. I, I, I had a lot right. of fun. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, but I, I think technically like there are some aspects of it that could have been better. Yeah, for sure. Phew. Um, hi guys. This is a little different. Uh, it's just me right now, and it is currently late at night. I am editing, and this episode might be the first in the hero story history, I think, of the lost footage. The lost episode. Um yeah, this episode went a little off the rails at times, a little chaotic, and a lot of technical difficulties. Uh, too much to the point where editing will take way too long. So hours upon hours. We were originally going to edit it. Sean actually was going to help me out. We both went to the same, well, not the same school, but the same program where we learned how to edit and do audio and all that. So he's like, I got you, man. But after looking at it all, it's like this, it's a bit of a mess. So uh, we're going to cut it there. We're just going to do the Suicide Squad review because we had no issues there. Mark Wade announced which we had no issues with it. It's when we started the news of the week, it started to get a little technical difficulty. Like, so we'll probably go more in depth in, on what happened, uh, the, the issues we went through for audio and video, and yeah, the whole thing of Amanda Waller kicks people, which we thought was a great idea, ended up being like, we are going to break this call. So, <laughs> oops. So yeah, we're going to end the episode there. Uh, next week, we're talking with Mark Wade. That that episode, I believe, should be out regular time as usual. Maybe it'll be even a little bit earlier than that. We'll see. Uh, I don't know the exact time that we're going with Wade yet, but we have a day to set. Uh, so then, then the week after that, I believe it's just a regular podcast episode. So maybe that'll be the day that we will kind of tell you guys what exactly went down here. Thanks for listening. Uh, sorry, this episode's way shorter than the usual ones, but I hope you guys enjoyed our little Suicide Squad uh, outfits and our review and all that. What? <laughs>